hello scorpio welcome back welcome back to the channel you guys it's the scene tarot all right so guys we're gonna get into your reading and see what's going on with you and your person scorpio if this does resonate remember to like the video give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel all right if it doesn't resonate i will have your playlist link below in the description box okay so what's going on for scorpio What's going on for Scorpio? What's going on for Scorpio and the person that's on their mind, the person that they're with, the person that they're separated from? Thank you, angels. What's going on for Scorpio? Scorpio. over here real quick Scorpio on the back of the deck we have the death wow your energy Scorpio I feel like somebody is stuck here like somebody is wondering, what should I do now? I feel like something ended, but they actually don't know how to move on from this. I'm not sure if they do want to move on. Like they're stuck into this like energy of not understanding the process, of not understanding why me. Like what? Why is this happening? You know, not grown from this at all. Um, it's like a little bit in the, not even a little bit a lot in their feelings so scorpio you might be feeling this way or you might be dating another scorpio um possibly another water sign cancer um pisces energy all right so let's see what's going on here we got the king of swords we have the page of swords we have the justice the four of wands <laughs> Wow, the element of pentacles. Okay, so let's see what we have here so far. I feel like there's going to be conversation. Um, it's funny, you're going to be talking to somebody that is very immature because I'm seeing like a blockage here after. Like you're not going to get anywhere with this person. I feel like you're going to tell this person exactly how you feel. Um, but this person is not going to understand um, this person is going to be someone that is um, acting really jealous, like highly jealous. And I'm not talking about, they maybe are jealous because, you know, of course, they're jealous of you being with any, someone else or seeing you with someone else or seeing you around other people. This could be your family. Maybe they feel jealous of something that they don't have when it comes to, you know, people around you. Um, maybe they feel like you have, you know, support. Um, but something about them being jealous here of you, okay? Because I'm seeing like you're communicating with this person and your communication is fine, but this person communication is a little bit off. Like this person definitely don't see where you're coming from, don't understand. So of course, you're going to end up blocking them. All you want is the truth from this person. All you want is some clarity and the truth. And look what you're getting, the element of um, the swords. You know, you're not really getting anything from this person. This person doesn't know how to communicate. This is how I'm feeling here, you know, but yet, you know, for some of you are coming off married or, you know, you, this person still wants abundance with you. They have a lot of fire for you, passion for you, Scorpio, and this is what they truly want, but how could they want this if this is the way they act? Um, for some, for, so for, oh God, for some of you, Scorpio, I'm getting like, you probably still want to hold on to this relationship because you're trying to find out what's going on and seeing if this could be fixed. 
um, seeing if you can have the justice um, that you deserve. Because I feel like for some of you, this person has been treating you unfairly, okay? Then you have the element of pentacles here, which I definitely feel like this person is making moves in preparation to try to, you know, continue this legacy, but they feel like they're not walking towards anything. I feel like it's more like maybe um, let you know that they still want this, but they're just waiting for the right time. Maybe they don't feel like this is the right time right now um, to get to to commit to something, but they feel like they, they want to change, right? So that's what I'm feeling so far with this. Um, let me see what else. Then we have the Three of Cups here. And we have the devil. All right. <sighs> I feel like someone is moving very single at this present time because it's like they they know what they have to do. But at the same time, it's like, you know, they're just out here, you know, mingling. And then the devil is right here. So Capricorn energy is coming out for some of you. I just feel like this person is not ready for a committed relationship. It's like, yes, I, I, I dream about this, but I'm quite, I'm not quite committing to it. Um, they're just like, have a place in their life where they're just like, okay, yeah, that would be nice. Like that's what I'm, <laughs> I'm hearing. Like, yeah, being with someone you know that understands you and have a long-term relationship with someone that would be nice but they're not really like that's what i want you know and they're not going for it um and i feel like what's happening now is that they're searching like someone is searching for someone out there like they feel like you know what they have now is not what you know they want unfortunately and i feel like they're out here in you know the three of cups going to parties going out with friends you know you know trying to find or search for someone that Possibly, you know, they're looking for, I feel like this person is acting single and they're not for some of you. Okay. Cause they got you in a situation where you feel like you're not single. So why is this person acting this way? And I feel like, you know, they're in this situation and this is like a toxic behavior. This is what this is telling me in the devil. It's a toxic behavior. This is how they act. Um, you know, especially when they can have this, it's like they sabotage this relationship. They sabotage everything around them. Like everything could be going great and, you know, could be blossoming like this flower here. And then they make this decision, right, in the devil to wreck it by, you know, acting like, let me see if I still got it, you know, kind of energy. And this is something that this person wants to get rid of. But, you know, Scorpio, nobody can fix anyone. This person has to be ready to fix this themselves. Um, so you have to give this person time if that's what you're into. Um, but this person right now have some things that they have to, you know, work through. Okay. Because I feel like this person is thinking like they don't deserve anything and nothing is going to last anyway. So why not just do what they want? And I feel like in the Capricorn land, a lot of Capricorn tend to get themselves in, um, you know, situation entanglements and they don't mean to, but I, a lot of Capricorns, when they're not happy in a thing, not saying that this is, you're dating a, 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 a Capricorn birth. Okay. This person could have Capricorn in their chart. I'm just saying that this person is, they get themselves in situations because they know that they don't really, they're not ready for something but they string people along and they don't end things, okay? They just have situations. Like they just develop, develop situations that they don't need to develop. And I see a lot of this quality in Capricorns. Uh, I never dated one, but I see a lot of this quality. And I'm just like, if you're not happy in a situation, just end it. Be mature enough and say, I don't want to be in a situation with this anymore. I'm just going to end it and stick with that decision. Don't create a situation that is going to be toxic so that person can leave and that person is already in love with you. So of course they're hurt. They want to come back 
And, you know, the Capricorn just does not say, listen, I don't want to be with you anymore. I just feel like I want to leave. I want to date other people. I hope you understand that. Goodbye. You know, they tend to play both sides to try to keep everybody happy with, and not themselves. Be true to yourself. And I feel like this person has not been true to themselves. This person is stringing you along because it's like they're investing seeds, okay, that they're not ready for and having their cake and eat it too, you know, in the devil. So, you know, you just have to watch out for that, um, Scorpio, and know what's going on here, okay? All right, so let's see here. We have the Eight of Wands. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, the world, and we have the Knight of Pentacles, okay? All right, so I'm definitely feeling like there's going to be some kind of messages coming towards you. This could be affection. This could be love. Um, somebody is going to be moving fast, okay? Fast pace. Um, this is about the, you see what I'm saying? The Ace of Pentacles, all right? So what I just said about this person, it's like, this person is really confusing and I can see how they confuse you because one moment they're nowhere to be found and they're acting like they got you in a situation for some of you. Maybe even, you know, sleeping with other people here, third party situation. Not that they are trying to get any kind of relationship with these people. It's just that it happens. It occurs that way. Um, and... They're not ready, but they're not being honest with you. So sooner as you try to run away or you try to move on with your life, they drink, they string you back along. And because they feel like you're hurt, you're sad, and they don't want to be true to themselves. Be true to yourself. So they have you coming back to them, giving you this ace of pentacles that you think, oh my God, this person loves me. Yeah, they really do. They really care about you. I'm not going to lie with this Ace of Wands, but they're confusing. It's like they're making you happy, okay, giving you what you want here, all right? Then you have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. There's no investment. There's nothing here. It's like giving you what you want and not putting any kind of energy into this situation. Not making you happy, not fulfilling those requirements. You are doing all the investment to make this appear that it's a happy situation, okay? For some of you, you might have a family with this person. Yeah, they could be a great mother or a great dad, but they're not invested in a happy home here. They're probably like, let me go and ride my motorcycle, okay? And, you know, you think they're having this joy ride because they feel free, but they're busy out there trying to attract other people, you know? And I definitely feel like we have the world here. They feel very content with this. Look at this. Very, very content. This is what they want. It's set in the world, you know? And then we have this <laughs> Knight of Pentacles. So the only thing I can say about this is that at this time, Scorpio, this person is young and then they're growing, right? Because they came off from the element of pentacles. And I'm sorry, I kind of moved these cards. I like to, I'm kind of neat. So they come off as the element of pentacles and then they mature into the agent of pentacles, which is, okay, I plant the seed. All right, I'm waiting for it to bloom. Okay, it has bloomed. I have all the requirements that I need to move forward into a legacy or trying to build a legacy, okay, with my person. I'm not there yet. I'm working. I'm moving very slowly towards this, okay? So if you have the patience to wait for this person, and again, this could be a Capricorn. You see what I'm saying? I've been talking about Capricorns all daggone day, okay? this If this person isn't a Capricorn sun, this person has Capricorn in their chart. A lot of Capricorn in their chart because that's what I'm feeling right now. Like this person has tendencies to get themselves entanglements, 
entanglements, okay? <sighs> and they're not trying to be honest about it or to choose. They're trying to make everybody happy, everybody happy around them and making themselves miserable. I feel like this person is... Uh, it's just, I don't know, I just get this like childish behavior from this person. And then you got the emperor, okay? And then you have a three of wands. Hmm. It's like when this person does something, they don't chase. They don't chase. They wait, 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 wait. Um, and they come off as someone that is stable, of course. Because for some of you, you might have... Um, a child with this person because i'm seeing the ace of pentacles here maybe a family okay but for the situation is i don't feel like okay i don't feel like this person is a bad parent this person could be a great parent this person is a, a provider you know you're like saying to yourself this person provides this person pays bills this person of course capricorn take care of their household they're they're earth signs you know, what's important to them is their home, right? But they have this tendency, okay, to share themselves with other people. Now, for some of you, you could have, you could be dealing with an Aries, a Leo, or a Sag because of this emperor, but Aries mostly, right? And a fire sign. So, but again, this person could have Capricorn in their charts, right? So, I just feel like when it comes to the home, taking care of you, making sure that you have everything, the bills are paid, or the money is in the bank, great. You know, you don't have that problem with this person, but commitment issues, you do. And then when they do something wrong, they don't rush and solve the situation. They let you sit there and linger about it. And it makes you feel like they don't care about this. They don't care about anything, you know? Um, and they're just waiting for you to say sorry with something that you have no control over, nothing that you have done wrong. And this is what I'm feeling, you know? So this is why you're stuck, Scorpio. This is why you feel stuck, okay? Because of how this person is making you feel. You don't know if you need to move forward. You don't know if you should move on. This person that does have you in your feelings. And for some of you, I'm going to say this again, because this is not going to resonate for everyone, but I'm getting like for some of you who have a family with this person or a home, because this Ace of Pentacles is something that you guys built together, like a contract child a home cars business money tied up together okay and you see this this is a funny picture look it's upside and down with this ace of pentacles you're supposed to turn it this way in reverse and you see the, the bigger picture with the stars the tree you know your family tree here with the with the money the abundance here and i feel like that's what you know is in jeopardy here and you don't know, because I feel like a lot of you are saying, damn, this person is perfect in a lot of ways. So you don't want to give that up. But, you know, it's also about respect. You know, this person is not respecting you. And putting you through a lot of situations where they just can't keep their pants on. And that's the, the pants, the, the panties, whatever, right? And you feel like, this is important to you. Like you need this person to be honest with you, to be faithful to you because you're being faithful to them. And you don't understand if I'm being faithful to you, why can't you be faithful to me? Um, and that's one thing that, you know, it's like overlapping everything else that you see. So, you know, I feel like you don't care about the money. You don't care about anything that you guys have built together. What's crazy for you now is this person not being faithful. This person acting like they're single. They're not married for some of you. They could be married to you and they're acting like they're not. 
they were hanging out with friends, celebrating, drinking, acting like they're single, in the devil, in the devil. And this is something that they're stuck in. This is a toxic behavior or addic uh, addiction. They don't want, they want to have their cake and eat it too. Okay, this person doesn't want to grow up. Doesn't want to grow up. And let's see what's in it for the future, okay? Okay. Let's see what's in it for the future. <clears throat> Tell me about this connection in the future for Scorpio. Thank you, angels. We have the Knight of Swords. <laughs> yeah, this person has a tendency to have you wait, okay? And then rush in when they feel like you're moving on or they're getting jealous of a particular situation. Capricorn behavior. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, again, I'm getting like... This could be a Gemini as well, Aquarius or a Libra. I'm sorry. Yeah, Gemini, Aquarius or Libra energy by sun. But again, I'm definitely feeling these individuals have Capricorn in their chart. Um, let's see here. Look at this. This just flipped. Okay, so let's take this as well. I need more cards here. Thank you, angels, for the future. So, all right, for the future, we have the Seven of Wands. Um, I definitely feel the truth will set you free. Um, this person has been holding on to a lot of secrets, a lot of things they're trying to keep hidden from you, a lot of things that they don't want you to know, okay, in the Seven of Wands. They're acting like it's for your best to not hang out at a certain place or it's for your best not to hang out with certain people. I'm also getting that they might be talking about other people and talking about them badly so you can feel a certain way about an in oh God, about someone, okay? And you're staying away from that person. But I feel like it's more to the story you know that saying, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer? And this is what I'm getting, okay? Because your enemy probably knows or have a little secret that they're keeping together. And I feel like a lot of these ones are people that are trying to keep away from you. And everything is spiraling out of control. And these people are going to get behind them very, very soon. And you're going to have some kind of information that you don't like and it's from other people. So this could be from your family, from your friends that you thought were there for you. And maybe they are, but I feel like for some of you, these people are telling you for their own benefits, okay? Not because they really care about you. So some sometimes you have to like... Um, just put that aside, like, not put that aside, but you have to have, keep that in mind that, you know, okay, these people are sitting down, having coffee, having tea with you, you're having a great conversation, but in the meantime, they're t sabotaging your relationship. These people already knew from the get-go that what was going on or if someone slept with someone or whatever and they smiled in your face and act like everything was good. So you have to keep that in mind. And now all of a sudden, they're coming to you acting like they just found out about this situation. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm getting, you guys. All right. So 
I definitely see your person, you know, coming in when they want to. And when I say they want to with this, with this um, Knight of Swords, I'm getting like this person is just living in the moment. Is this a moment thing? You know, they're just like, they've been supposed to come to you and try to solve this situation. And all of a sudden, one day they woke up, like in the high front. Oh my God, I got it. I'm making a decision, you know, and run to you on their horse, making things worse, actually. Very immature, not as bad as the pages, but still. And look at this, the high front. <laughs> I just talked about the high front. I promise you, I had this card in my hand and I did not even see it. I read one card at a time and I'm looking out my window as, you know, the camera might be here. I might be like this, but I'm not looking at the, the second card, you guys. So that's how I read. Read one card at a time. But I feel like... <laughs> You know, like this person is rushing towards you and they don't know how the outcome it is in the high front. Even though this might be ending for some of you again, I'm getting like this relationship might be ending, maybe divorce here and in this relationship in the high front. I feel like there's a lot of people talking to this person. They're very codependent, you know, coming towards you. They have a lot of people saying, hey, don't bother with them. Let them go do this, do that. But they're really thinking about this nine of cups, you know, things that they want to be, you know, successful with you. Um, they really value you in their lives, even though they treat you like crap, but here they are with their feelings, you know, is I feel like, you know, remember we saw the devil, Scorpio, bad behavior, toxic behavior, they sabotage their own relationship. We saw the element of pentacles, how that little flower was grown or they're, you know, planting seeds. They're planting your future together, waiting for it to grow. And they're sabotaging the relationship as well. And this is what I'm feeling. Like the sabotage, and it's like a, a drug for them, right? It's an addiction. This is something that they do to every relationship. And it's morally how what they have seen when they have grown up, this is what they're used to. So they're doing it to you. Unfortunately, this person that you're with never had any healing, never did any healing, never tried to understand why they're doing this. Um, maybe for some of you, they are seeing someone and talking to someone like a counselor or a therapist. Is it a therapist? I'm not sure. But, um, you know, just trying to get some kind of third party opinion, um, trying to get some healing. And but it's like, I don't feel this person should be in any kind of relationship until they have fully decided that, OK, I can definitely have someone in my life and handle this kind of emotions and i'm learning from a lot of things about myself and i'm the negative things i will not apply to my relationship but of course this is the world we get lonely especially if somebody has capricorn in their placements okay because this is someone that I keep telling you, this is someone who has Capricorn in their placements. I keep getting that. I'm feeling that. And they could be any kind of, they could be Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. They could be anything, but they have this Capricorn placement, which they just get themselves in a lot of, they're very loved, appreciated. Um, I'm feeling like, this person has a lot of haters, okay? A lot of haters. But the reason why this person hate them is because they have, they live in kind of the moment. Like I'm getting like this, um, this, like I'm saying, like Gemini, Aquarius, or, you know, Libra energy, right? They live in the moment, okay? So let's go back to that. And they do, they make decisions that hurt other people. But they're trying to make themselves happy. They're trying to fill some void, right? They have you, but there is something missing. They're constantly searching for something. Remember, we saw the three of cups and the devil. They're constantly like that that situation being acting single, take dancing with other people in the three of cups, going to parties and dancing, right? You want to dance your feet away, okay? Three of cups. I'm seeing this person dancing with other people that are not you. 
and getting themselves in a situation. You're dancing with somebody, you're close, you're rubbing against them, and you get yourself you get yourself in an entanglement, right? Don't want a long-term situation, but this fulfills this person at the moment. And it causes, you know, that other person to get feelings, of course. Are you still with me? Comment below if you are, because I'm feeling this message for you, okay? I am very in tuned with your person right now and what's what they're feeling and everything. And it's like scaring me at this point that I'm talking to you, Scorpio. All right? This person has an addiction problem and this is something that they're going to have to deal with. And if you want to be with this person, you're going to have to be sitting with them in therapy. Is it therapy? I'm not sure. Is it a, a high? Okay. Yeah, I think therapy. I think it's, that's what you call it. And you're being counseled, okay? Because this is, this is nothing to do with you It's unless you want to be with them, okay? And I don't know for how you're going to get this person to heal if they're not doing this already. This is going to be very hard for you that are not open to this um, because some of you are might just date in. Some of you just probably had a baby together or, you know, planning a future together. Maybe some of you are engaged with that Ace of Pentacles and that Three of Cups, okay? And because this person could be celebrating and they're engaged because Three of Cups also talks about celebration, which engagement and all of that. So, but I'm really feeling like this person is dancing with other people and celebrating as they're a single and they're not, okay? Because it's an addiction. The devil is right next to the Three of Cups. They're not celebrating your engagement. They're celebrating the fact that they're trying to see if they still got it, right? And they're trying to fulfill that need that is missing. There's nothing that you can provide for them. There is nothing that you can provide for them, Scorpio. You cannot make them whole. That's what I'm feeling. You cannot make them whole. They have to seek help. It's something that's going on within them. They have to heal that. And if they don't, they're going to continue to cheat, period, point blank. Sorry. They're going to continue to cheat. All right? I just hope that the person that you're with doesn't have that pride, which they probably do in the devil, that pride. And plus you have the emperor that came up as well. Aries, Leo, Sag energy, fire sign. I mean, they might be open to see someone about this. and But I don't know if they're going to include you in it because they like to stay private when it comes to their emotions, right? Um... But I feel like this is something that you and this person has to conquer together if you want to get to the bottom of things, all right? So let's get back to it. So your person is coming towards you, not knowing where this is going to be because for some of you, you're putting an end to this relationship and they kind of feel like, okay, that's what this is, but they're moving towards you because they really want to be successful. But your person doesn't know how. They don't know how to stay with success. They All they know is make things right and then sabotage because it's something that they're used to doing, right? So we're going to move on here. You're trying to hold up this relationship. Jump right back in. And then here we go again. The mistake, all right? Someone falls into doing something that they're not supposed to in the moon, keeping secrets from each other, you know, keeping that darkness from you, hiding them true selves from you, wearing a mask from you, Scorpio, okay? You don't know who this person is. You think you do, but you don't. Um, there is love here, all right? This is why you guys jump right back in. I'm seeing you in tears, crying when, you know, this person breaks your heart, and when you guys conversate, it's the happiest feeling ever for you. The happiest feeling ever. You just want peace. You don't want to argue with this person. All you do is want to love them. You just want to love them. And this is why you jump back in. But you know that this is going to cost you. You are feeling alone Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday in the back all through the week. Like you don't have no help. You're doing everything by yourself, okay? And no one is behind you. And plus, you're acting like you got this. 
like you can handle this but the truth is you're about to you know blow a fuse okay i'm seeing you about to pack your bags i feel like the, a lot of you are thinking the easy way about this is to move on and leave this relationship behind but i you know it is that's up to you you know um but because i really don't feel like you're the issue but i feel like you know what you're in this person's life for a reason right um is to help them or to teach them not to hurt people this way and but they're they're not going to learn that yeah they're going to be like wow you know yeah i really messed up but that's something that they did before and before and before i feel like what this person wants is someone well they don't even know this but i feel like if they're not already seeking help or talking to someone about their triggers and what happened in their past then you know not to tell you to stay or anything like that but i feel like they need to find someone to actually push them in that that situation right there even if you have to be a friend or whatever but for some of you you're really upset with this person for some of you you don't want this person in your life they say things to hurt you they you know um embarrasses you make you feel like you do nothing all right and this is just how they feel about themselves and a lot of healing needs to be occurred because you're doing everything. You're doing everything. For some of you, you're trying to keep the peace here. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Three of Wands. We have, wow, you know? Yeah, for some of you, you're letting go from this person. You already know. You think you know that, you know about someone that they're juggling. But you think that this this is it. That this is the only person that they're juggling. And I don't feel that way. I feel like this person, if this person goes away, like the one that they're juggling right now with you, it's going to be another one and another one. You just don't know about it. Like I said, there is an addiction here with this person, Scorpio. Okay. I'm feeling like they are really attractive towards you. They want to have you there. They feel like they don't deserve you. You're coming off very sexy or handsome if you were a man. Um, and they're feeling like, you know, they let this linger. They don't want you to be with anyone else. That's their worst fear. But of course they made this happen and they made you feel this way in the queen of swords where you're blocking them, you know, taking them out of your life. You're done with the nonsense here. You don't want to deal with this. So for some of you, you're ghosting this person. You're changing your number from this person. For some of you, you already moved on from this person in Three of Wands. They they see you moved on with someone else, okay? So in the future. <laughs> but this person is juggling. They don't want to choose because they don't want to choose. I remember, I, listen, I went through everything with this person. So you should know, Scorpio, they're not going to choose. Um... They feel like they could do both. They could have their darkness and their light, okay? Um, they're still at the Knight of Pentacles. As you can see, we talked about that. The Knight of Pentacles, okay? They feel like they can start something with you. Um, they have all the preparation, all the tools to do so when it comes to building a legacy, but very, very slowly. So this person is in this slow lane. Um, and this is what you're seeing. Like, this person is in the soul lane, you guys. And they don't make any moves when it comes to you. And I'm getting that by these three cards. They watch you. So this person is watching you. Move on. They're thinking about all the things they could have with you. And they don't make any move towards you. Like, they're waiting for you to call them. You see that phone right there? Watching the phone. You see the eyes? Looking at the phone, it's not ringing. And they're just watching you, waiting for you to call them. And when you do, they have attitude and, you know, using manipulation. So if you're going to call this person, Scorpio, just know that this person is going to make you feel bad because that's all they do. They're not going to make you feel good about it. They're going to act like, they're going to play hard to get. But this is what this person is feeling and they could have another person beside them in their bed right now 
obviously, if you guys are separated, but they're thinking about you. They're going to make it bad for you because you didn't chase them, okay? You didn't go to them in the Three of Wands. They wanted you to chase them. They wanted you to make them feel good about themselves. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to leave it here. I hope this resonates. If it does, you guys, you know what to do. Like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. And go over to my Instagram as well and support the cause. As soon as we hit the 5K on the Instagram page, I'm going to definitely start with those free personal readings over there. Comment below what um, resonated. And yeah, I'll see you guys in your next video. Love you, Scorpio, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.